The arid plains of Westfall were once riddled with lush farmland and rich mines. Years of conflict and neglect have not been kind to the land, and now the old Alliance province has fallen to banditry and drought, with only a handful of Stormwind soldiers remaining to keep the peace. When the Orcish Horde took Stormwind at the climax of the First War, Westfall II fell into the Orcs' hands. The Second War saw the liberation of Stormwind and its provinces, but it was then that Westfall truly fell on hard times. Stormwind was to be rebuilt, and the Stonemasons' Guild was contracted for the work. The truth behind the events that transpired after the completion of Stormwind are unclear. The Stonemasons, led by Edwin Van Cleef, claimed that they were not paid the agreed-upon amount. The House of Nobles, the stonemason's employers, claimed Edwin demanded more money than originally contracted. When the House of Nobles ordered the guild disbanded, Van Cleef grew furious and a riot broke out in Stormwind. The Queen, Tiffin Wren, was killed by an errant stone to the head, and King Varian Wren flew into a rage and drove the rioters from the city. It would later be revealed that Onyxia of the Black Dragonflight, disguised as Katrana Prestor, had a manipulative hand in turning the two groups against each other. When Van Cleef and his newly formed Defias Brotherhood attempted to take Elwyn Forest and failed, he fell back on Westfall and made the dead mines to the south his lair. From there, the Brotherhood turned to banditry to collect the gold they claimed was rightfully theirs. Eventually, the people and the farmers of Westfall created the people's militia to defend the dying land, and with the help of a band of heroes from Stormwind, stormed the dead mines and took Van Cleef's head. Already a barren dust bowl, the war against the Lich King and the Cataclysm took further toll against Westfall. The Northren campaign led to a sharp recession in the Stormwind provinces, and none felt it so hard as Westfall, which became a bastion for Stormwind's homeless and impoverished. The farmers and residents of Westfall, who barely made enough food for themselves, were unable to help feed the horde of transients. This led to malcontent and frustration among the homeless, a perfect breeding pool for rebellion. The Cataclysm also damaged the land. A massive rift opened up at the province's heart, where hostile oozes now roam. The farmlands surrounding it seem even more barren and dry since the fateful event. In recent times, a hero is sent to unravel a mystery brewing amongst the homeless of Westfall. The Furlbrows were murdered in what, to the untrained eye, might appear an accident. The hero eavesdrops on a shadowy figure convincing the ogre bandit foreman Glubtok to join her cause. The hero uncovers the Furlbrows' murderers and sets off to discover why the peaceful farmers were killed. The hero finds the Saldean's farm overrun with the old Defias constructs called Watchers. After assisting the Saldeans, the hero learns that the Saldeans took in an orphan some years ago, a girl they called Hope. The girl is now grown and assisting the homeless of Sentinel Hill. The hero hurries off to assist Hope as best they can. Marshal Gyron Stoutmantle, head of the Westfall Brigade, a group formerly known as the People's Militia, has recently returned from a tour in Northren and seeks to re-establish order in Westfall. Walls have been erected around Sentinel Hill, and the marshal sends the hero to investigate the Riverpaw Knolls, who are suspected allies of bandits hiding in Westfall, and to assist SI-7 agent Kiernan in routing out a known threat, Helix Gearbreaker. There too, the hero is able to eavesdrop on a shadowy figure meeting with Helix, planning the jailbreak of Admiral Ripsnarl in Sentinel Hill. The hero is then sent to Moonbrook, once the capital of the province's agricultural population. After being sacked by the invading horde and later taken by the Brotherhood, it now serves as a resting place for a veritable army of homeless families. There, the hero witnesses the shadowy figure riling the homeless into rebellion, venomously insulting Stormwind and its king. Just who is this shadowy figure? The hero enlists the help of an old shaman, hurtling into the past and venturing into the dead mines. There, they witness the death and decapitation of Edwin Van Cleef and the small girl that approaches after staring helplessly at her father's lifeless body. Upon returning to Sentinel Hill with the news that Edwin Van Cleef had a daughter, the gnolls attacking Sentinel Hill withdraw. Hope Saldean steps out and reveals herself to be Vanessa Van Cleef, 
She frees Ripsnarl and orders Sentinel Hill burned. When Gyron Stoutmantle asks why she had the Furlbrows murdered, she replies that they were the only ones who knew of her existence, the only ones who recognized her face from when she was a babe. She then flees, and the hero flies to Stormwind to beseech the king to send aid to Westfall. The dead mines are stormed once more, and Vanessa Van Cleef meets the same fate as her father. Once again, the Device Brotherhood comes to an end. Westfall is a perfect lair for many of the Alliance's enemies, and the recent wars and upheavals have left the land a barren shadow of its former self. It is not the only area of Azeroth beset with violence and brimming with history, and so we must ask as we turn our attention to the next province of Stormwind. What lore will the next zone hold? <laughs>